A 42-year-old lady was unhappy with her life because of her husband and started a love relationship with a schoolboy. Will the world accept their love or not? Stay tuned to know the truth. In the beginning of the story, we are shown a 42-year-old lady named Ling who was driving the car to her school. She was a Chinese language teacher at this school. Before going to her Chinese language class, she gives herself an injection. But the pain of this injection is nothing compared to her everyday life, her life is as bad as my own. After school, she comes to her home, where her sick father-in-law is waiting for her. Soon after, it was time for them to have dinner. Ling feeds his father-in-law with her hands because he has suffered a stroke and is unable to speak. After this, she goes for her checkup. It has been eight years since her marriage, but they do not have any children. She was very upset and wanted to know the truth. Soon, the doctor informed me that she had two mature follicles. Hearing his words, Ling gets some relief. And he began to leave. But she accidentally met a student of her class who broke his leg during martial arts class. She offered him a ride back to his home and did her duty as a good teacher. Along with this, she is also a good woman. Perhaps when a person finally gets tired of his own problems, he becomes like that. She has a very calm nature. She checks her class papers before going to sleep. In which some children had very bad marks. So she decided to give extra classes, including to the boy with a broken leg. Some students were unhappy and started arguing, but Ling did not say anything. After reaching home, she met her husband, who was giving a bath to his father. Her husband asked Ling to hand him a towel. Ling searched the room for a towel, but there was a little delay, due to which her husband started to abuse her. It was clearly visible from the words of both of them. Their relationship was not good. Ling accepted the fact that neither he nor she loved each other. While sitting in her room, watching TV, she comes across the news about the events happening in Malaysia. She called her mother on the phone, who lives there. Her mother was completely fine. Hearing those words from her mother made her feel comfortable. The next day, when she goes to school, we come to know that no one is showing interest in taking the Chinese classes. But one student was there to study the Chinese language. It was the same person Ling had met in the hospital, his name is Kok Wei Luan. It's a very long name, so from now on, we will call him Luan. Luan's father's business was in China, so it was necessary for him to learn Chinese. That's why he keeps taking classes after everyone leaves. After some time, Ling's brother comes to her school to borrow some money from her. This was not the first time he borrowed money. He has done this many times. Every time Ling gave him money as an older sister, after that, she returned to her class. After finishing her class, she drops Luan off at his house, then she comes to her home. That day, she waited for her husband until late at night, but he didn't come. When she catches his eye, she sees him enter the house drunk and asks him not to drink too much. But he again started to abuse her. He taunted her by saying that he didn't have a child because of her. Now tell me what to do, but poor Ling tries to explain to him that it was not her fault. She tried everything she could, but her husband didn't understand. Similarly, both of them argue again. The next day, he gets a call from her sister. She has given birth to a child, and he is invited to a party to celebrate, but he refuses to go. But when Ling repeatedly asks, he says yes, and then they are ready. Ling's father-in-law was also going with them. A few hours later. They reach their destination, but her husband refuses to go inside, saying that he has an important matter with this friend. Link was also helpless. She can't even say anything. That's why she goes inside the house with her father-in-law, which is very well decorated. There were sounds of laughter and play all around. Ling takes the child in her arms and tries to feel the happiness that she does not have. But then her sister comes and snatches her daughter away from her. Ling's heartbroken. She asks herself, did she commit some mistake because she doesn't have any children? Why does he have to bear all the pain? After that, she returns home. The next day, when she took the extra classes, Luan asked her to change the time of his extra class because he had to practice martial arts again. Ling agrees without thinking anything, she changed the timing and probably gave it to him in the midst of all this. 
One day, while she is teaching Luna, she gets a call from her husband saying that she has to come home early because he is going out for work. Ling had no option, so she had to go home early. Along with Luna, she also takes Luna with her because his classes are not over yet. Luan was quite surprised to see his big house. But when he sees Ling's father-in-law, he understands that perhaps she is coming early today to take care of him. He soon got comfortable with her father-in-law, he also had dinner with him and then went back to his home. This was the first time he had come home to her house. A few days later, we see Ling in the hospital. Today, she has an operation called ID in which the doctor puts some chemicals in, which further increases the chances of having a child. Before the operation, she tried to call her husband, but he refused to assist her. Soon, the operation started. Now a few more days go by like this. When the report comes, Ling is completely broken, she curses herself because her operation failed. When her husband learns about it, he comes to pick her up and goes home, leaving her alone in the bedroom. Her husband thought that Ling was of no use. Ling doesn't have anyone with whom she can share this pain. Someone who can understand her grief, Ling, has completely changed after that operation. She also leaves in between her ongoing classes. Depression has completely taken over her life. When someone tries to talk to her, she doesn't say anything. When Ling does not attend class for three days. He wrote a letter for her because she did not show herself for class. He wants her to be invited to the martial tournament, which will be held in a few days. After that, he goes to his regular martial arts classes. Ling receives the letter but does not think much about it. Some days have passed, and Ling has been busy in her day-to-day -day life. But suddenly she remembered about the tournament and decided to cheer on Luan, so her father-in-law went to the tournament and supported Luan. Luan was happy to see them both. Soon the tournament started, and Luan performed very well and eventually won the tournament. Ling was very happy for him. So they all decided to celebrate Victoria. All three of them had a nice time, this was the first time we have seen Ling happy. After that, they all went back to their houses. Ling started to check her students' work, when she got home, she paused for a moment and started to think about all the good memories of him. After some days, when Ling was heading back home from her school, she saw her husband with another woman and soon realized that her husband was cheating on her. She gets very upset. Soon, she reaches home and takes care of her father-in-law. After that, she goes to sleep. In her dream, she saw that she was holding her own baby in her hand and was very happy. But suddenly she wakes up because of the heavy rain. She goes to her father-in-law's room to close the window. She asks him why he did not wake her up, but he does not reply. She repeats herself, but no response is given by her father-in-law. She goes close to him and realizes that he is dead. Ling is very heartbroken because she is the person for whom she cares the most. The funeral was held. She thought her husband was married between his backs to this lady and was heartbroken. But she does not say anything. After some days, she goes back to her daily life and goes to school regularly. Seeing her in school makes me very happy. Ling also started to take extra classes. When she was dropping Luan off at his house, his health became very bad. His nose starts bleeding. Ling brings him to his house and gives him some ice so that the bleeding can be stopped, but Luan can do it alone. That's why she enters the room and helps him, she teases him a little. After some time, most of the room became hot, and both came so close to each other. The relationship between teacher and student ends. Even Ling cannot stop herself from doing this. But after some time, she understands that she has made a big mistake. That's why she asks Luan to leave and explains to him that it is wrong, but at the age of Luan, there are changes in hormones, and for this, he was very excited. But Ling knows she's not right for him. Luan tries to touch her everywhere. Despite Ling's refusal, he insists on getting physical with her. Now it gets so bad that one day she has to slap him. She thought it was better to drop him off at the bus stop instead of dropping him home, but Luna was unhappy about this. He was unable to understand the bowling conditions. An argument started between the two regarding this matter. In which a Ling car collides with a taxi. The taxi driver started to make a scene, but seeing them, he excused them. 
After that, she goes home, but the next day, while going to school on the bus, he once again meets Luna. He tries to talk to her, but looking at her, he understands that perhaps now it is better to call off this relationship. This relationship is not good for the world. Then, when martial arts were being practiced, Luan was looking at a photo of Ling taken secretly on his phone. But his friends came from behind and snatched his phone, and he saw those photos. This matter escalates so much that it reaches the school principal. After that, both are called, and they accept their relationship between them because it is already known. After hearing the story, the principal asks Ling to leave for a few days. And Luna was transferred to another school. They did not give him any punishment. However, this is considered a crime. But the principal is going to be promoted after a few days. That is why he does not want his promotion to be stopped due to anything and asks to end this matter here. Now, while going home, Luan again tries to get close to Ling in the car. And then Ling stops the car and asks Luan what he wants. Are you trying to show that you are very mature? It is not so. There are a lot of age differences between you and me. Ling told Luan. Luan says that this is his first breakup, and even after this, he doesn't know. Will he ever be able to meet her or not? So he wants to hug her for the last time, but she refuses to agree. And then it starts raining outside. Luan went out, stood outside the car, and started crying. Ling saw him and went near him to hug him. She fulfilled his wish. The relationship between them ended here. This relationship taught a great lesson to Ling. It gave her happiness for a while, but this relationship was not right. She thought that she would go home and make a decision that she had never thought of. She divorced her husband. She doesn't want to live her life suffocatingly. When she goes home, she checks the pregnancy test, and it reveals that she is going to be a mother. But whose child is this? Even she doesn't know. But now she is happy. No matter who the father is, she decided that she would leave everything and go to her village. That's why she leaves for her mother's village. She wants to live there peacefully. Now she is free from her suffocating life. This painful and miserable life of her end here. So this is the end of the movie, with a happy ending. We hope you like the movie and the explanation. To see more videos like this, do subscribe and support us.